Hey everyone, Ashton here with MuseThemes.com, and today we're taking a look at our new Text Waves widget for Muse. This is a fun widget used to animate text across your screen controlled by scrolling. Now as I scroll down our demo here, we get these cool image sections with a wave of text animating across the screen, perfectly matching the speed and motion of my scroll so I can easily scroll up or down to reread the text or engage with the animation. The text uses an SVG path, and there are several options for the wave. Text is of course fully custom, and the text size scales with the size of your screen or device. Now since this widget operates off of scroll position, it must be placed a little ways down the page, and there must be enough room to scroll in order for the message to display entirely. So essentially, you should not place this widget at the very top or at the very bottom of a page, and it should be used on a long page. This is particularly useful on single page websites. Let's jump over to Muse. And here we're working with our Cafe XOXO theme. And throughout this page, we have these wide images where we're going to put our text wave messages. Now, originally in this theme, there were text and buttons in these sections, but we've removed them for this demo so we can incorporate our new widget. Let's go into our library, grab the widget, and drop it on the page over our donut image here. Now we're going to set it to stretch to browser width, and you're going to always want to use it at full browser width unless you want to clip the animation for some reason, but we wouldn't advise that. And for simplicity's sake, we'll size the widget container to be the same size as our image here. You'll want to watch the height of the widget because it does impact the animation and its ability to completely flow off of the page. If you size the widget too narrow, the animation can be clipped, so keep a good amount of height to the widget container. So now let's expand the settings panel. First option is SVG path. Now there are several SVG paths available here, and these determine the curve of the path that the text will follow. Some are more drastic than others, so feel free to experiment and preview your page in a browser to find what works best for you. Text on path, this sets the text for the message, so let's enter love is in the air and it smells like coffee. Perfect. We can select a font color here. Let me select this pinkish color just for fun. Now here we can enter a font family. I'm going to enter Brandon Grotesque. And we'll set the font size to 34. There we go. Next up, we have a section for advanced options. Now these settings are provided if you would like to adjust the animation trigger position or to deal with clipping. Now these occurrences are unlikely in standard usage, so we advise not to change the settings in this section. The default settings are optimized for typical usage, but they are here at your disposal if you should choose to use them. Scroll position offset. This adjusts the position of the entry for the text waves, so higher values allow the text to begin animating higher on the page. Overflow hidden. This prevents the widget content from being visible outside of the widget boundaries. Limit SVG height. This enables the SVG height limit, which can be used to adjust the generated graphics sizing inside of the widget container. An SVG height limit. This is the percentage of the widget height the generated SVG graphics can utilize. Awesome. Now really quick, I'm going to do a quick copy and paste of the widget so I can easily apply it to our second wide image section down here. And scrolling down here, let's drop this second one over our other image. There we go. And we'll jump into the settings again. And we're going to keep all the settings the same, except let's change the text to a bad day with coffee is better than a good day without. Great. Let's give this a browser preview. And let's scroll down the whole page and we can see both of our text waves flowing across the screen seamlessly. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have some fun with this one. And if you need any additional assistance, reach out to us and support. All the best from us here at MuseThemes.com, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.